Four athletes have died on the first day of August due to heat. That's more than any other day of the year. Heat killed an Ohio football star. His death is what started the protection of millions of athletes nationwide. This is the story of two football players from two different levels of the game in two different states who collapsed on the field. Both died of heat stroke August 1st, 2001. On the first day of two-a-day practices at a high school near Indianapolis, 17-year-old junior lineman Travis Stowers vomited after the first practice. On a water break during the second practice, Travis collapsed. Around 4 a.m., Travis Stowers died of heat stroke. Nearly 600 miles to the northwest, Minnesota Viking, Ohio State Buckeye, and Ohio Prep star Corey Stringer began training camp. It was over 100 degrees, and they made no modifications. They did the, what they had planned for that day, two three-hour practices on the first day. Five or six players had to get IVs. Corey was one of those players. Took a lot out of him that day. I think he was struggling a little that evening from the effects of that first day. On Tuesday, July 31st, uh, when he woke up and he got to the facility, there was a picture of him on his locker showing him throwing up because he had thrown up the day before. The morning of the second day, um, he succumbed to an exertional heat stroke. He was never like maybe completely unconscious initially, but he was completely out of sorts. Like he was um, kneeling like in a fetal position, groaning, struggling. It was not aggressively cold, um, hardly cold at all. He was still 109 degrees at 90 minutes later when he arrived at the hospital. I remember going home that night because I was under the impression from some report we got, and I don't remember who it was from, that he was going to be okay. Around 2 a.m., Corey Stringer died from complications of heat stroke. This was a senseless tragedy. I feel all crazy. I'm all blubbering and whatnot. Heat is the number one killer of high school athletes in August. 97% occur during practice. Both athletes died playing the game they loved. Both families filed wrongful death lawsuits. The Stowers filed a lawsuit in state court and eventually settled. That money paid for the medical bills and lawyer fees. The Stringer family filed a lawsuit in federal court in Ohio against the NFL and settled as well. That funding helped launch the Corey Stringer Institute for Heat Illness Prevention. We're hopeful that his death had some positive legacy, you know, that m maybe we're, we're working hard to prevent other deaths from happening. My hope someday is that we don't need this, that we actually replace ourselves with just sanity. Two days later, on August 3rd, 2001, that same year, a college athlete collapsed and died of heat stroke. These three deaths changed the, sport, uh, the world of sports. You can learn more about Corey Stringer's death at athletesatrisk.com. And on